Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers and Happy Halloween Weekend. Today is October the 29th, 2021. And before we jump into things here, I want to talk about the links in my description. I do have a Patreon link with a variety of tiers, and one of those tiers may be right for you, so please check that out. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using that link, I get a small bonus from that, and it really helps support the channel. I also have a Spectre Shop with a ton of different designs, and your Playmat discount code for 10% off, where you can build your own custom Playmat. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you very much. Now, let's get moving. Sorry to list off here with Solitude from Modern Horizons 2. This mythic is down 5.21% today from 61.46 to 58.26. Next up on the loser section is Birds of Paradise. This is from Revised. It is down 5.49% from 35.15 to 33.22. And our next loser of the day is Sliver Legion from Future Sight. This card is down 5.54% from $46.05 to $43.50. Next up on the loser section is Tempest Afrit from Legends. This Legends Rare is down 5.54% from $62.96 to $59.47. Next up is Undead Warchief from Scourge. This zombie is down 5.59% from $18.25 to $17.23. Next up is a reserve list loser. It is Radiant Archangel from Urza's Legacy. And this card is down 8.69% from $16.35 to $14.93. Looks like we have another reserve list card, and it is Living Plane from Legends, and this card is down 8.87% from 509.56 to 464.35. Next up is Blade of the Blood Chief from Commander 2017. This artifact equipment is down 25.41% from 488 to $3.64. Next up on our loser section today is Hinterland Harbor from Dominaria. This card is down 26.51% from $7.43 to $5.46. Next up on our loser section is Desertion from Classic 6th Edition. This card is down 26.99% from $6.04 to $4.41. And we've got Silent Blade Oni from Commander 2018. This card is down 27% from $6.26 to $4.57. Our last loser of the day is Misdirection from Dual Decks Merfolks vs. Goblins. This card is down 27.37% from $4.75 to $3.45. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day. We are starting to list off here with Foreign Clink's Voice of Hunger from Secret Layers. This card is up 5.38% from $21.92 to $23.10. Now the original version of this card that came out in New Phyrexia is currently sitting at $27.74 on the market. And the reprint from Iconic Masters is $27.26. This card is seeing a ton of commander play in decks like Attracts the Praetor's Voice, Mayel, the Anima, and even Selvala, Heart of the Wilds, as well as Carador, Ghost, Chieftain. And the next winner on our list is a fetch land, and that fetch land is Scalding Tarn. And this is the Modern Horizons 2 reprint of this land, and it's up 5.62% from $30.44 to $32.15. Now, the original copy of this card was from Zendikar, and it's currently sitting at $43.40 on the market. And the Modern Masters 2017 reprint is $36.02, so both more expensive than the Modern Horizons 2 reprint. This card is seeing a lot of modern play in decks like Crashing Footfalls, Murktide Regent, and also legacy decks like Is It Delver, as well as commander decks like Omnath, Locus of Creation, and Niv Mizzet Perrin. Now, the next card we have on our list is a card from Modern Horizons 2, and it is one of those Evoke Elementals. It is Grief, and this card is up 8.42% today from $13.06 to $14.16. Now, the Borderless version of this card is currently sitting at $17.29 on the market, so about $3 more expensive than the regular copy. 
This card is seeing a lot of play in the modern format in decks like Blue Living End and also Reanimator, as well as legacy decks like Reanimator and vintage decks like Dredge, as well as commander decks like Turgrid, God of Fright. Now the next mover we have on our list is a standard mover and that card is Ranger Class from Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. This card is up 9.21% today from $12.92 to $14.11. This card is seeing a lot of play across a variety of formats, but the format where it's seeing the most play in is standard and it's seeing play in mono green aggro, teamer midrange, as well as gruel werewolves. It also sees a bit of play in pioneer decks like Naya, Winota, and commander decks like Tovalar, Dire Overlord. And our last mover of the day is Rhythm of the Wild from Ravnica Allegiance. This enchantment is up 29.75% from 474 to $6.15. Now this card is seeing a lot of play in the commander format in decks like Tovalar, Dire Overlord, Jisath, Sun's Avatar, the Ur-Dragon, and even Animar, Soul of Elements. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are starting to list off here with War Cadence from Mercadian Mass. This old frame foil is up 26.60% from 1707 to 2161. And we've got Soul Collector from Scourge. This rare old frame foil is up 31.33% from $3.99 to $5.24. And we've got Delaying Shield from Odyssey. This rare old frame foil is up 33.31% from $37.50 to $50. Next up is Fighting Drake from 7th Edition. The 7th Edition foil is up 33.52% from $8.95 to $11.95. Next up on the list today is Symbiotic Deployment from Apocalypse. This rare old frame foil is up 48.27% from $15 to $22.24. And our next foil mover is Thunderscape Battle Mage from Plane Shift. This card is up 48.31% from $296 to $4.39. And our next card is Shimmering Wings from Invasion. Another old frame foil up 65.23% from $2.79 to $4.61. And our next foil mover is Sensation Gorger from Morning Tide. This card is up 66.85% from $8.99 to $15. And the next card on our list is Ember Mage Goblin from Onslaught, and this card is up 295.40% from $0.87 to $3.44. Next up on our foil mover section is Survivor of the Unseen from Cold Snap. It's up 2,758% from $0.55 cents to $15.72. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit that like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm as I'm on my way to 10,000 subscribers and every little bit helps get me there. Also, let me know in the comment section, what was your favorite mover of the day? Which cards do you actually own? Which cards are you most surprised to see? I do read every single comment, so please leave them down below. I also am not going to be doing a Sunday night live stream like I typically do because it's going to be Halloween. I'm going to be out with a few friends and family, so I will be doing a small live stream on Saturday, so please come join me then. I will be doing it at 6 p.m., Yes, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is Toronto time. So please join me then if you'd like to come and say hi, and I'll give you a nice shout out. All right, I do these videos from Monday to Friday, so we'll be back again on Monday for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day and happy Halloween weekend. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.